Hi guys, my name is Steven and today I'll be reading Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. They were present at that season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered and said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all their Galileans? Because they suffer such things, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 of whom the town in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will, you will all likewise perish. He also spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the, his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, Look, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? But he answered and said to him, Sir, let it alone this year until I dig it around and fertilize it. And if it bears fruit, well, but if not, after that, you can cut you can cut it down. Now he was teaching to one of the synagogues of the Sabbath, on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, "Woman, you are loosened from your infirmity." And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation. Because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, and he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore, come and be healed on them and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each of you on the Sabbath loosen his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whose Satan has bound, think of it, for eighteen years, be loosened from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he said these things, all his adversaries, were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all glorious things that they were done by him. Then he said, What is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and put it in his garden. And it grew and became a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I like, like in the kingdom of God? It is like leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till it was all leavened. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. The one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When one of the masters of the house has rise up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say, I do not know you, where you are from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank at your presence, and you, you taught me out of the streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you. Where are you from? Depart from me all the worship, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and yourself tr trust out. They will come from the east and the west, from the north and the south, and sit down in the kingdom of God. And indeed, they are last. Then the last will be first, and the first will be last. On the very day, some Pharisee came, saying to him, Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cure today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfect. Nevertheless, I must journey today, tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet shall perish outside of Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophet and stones those who are sent to her. How often I want to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. And surely I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 13.